Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we got Kirito YGO with 841 rating versus Big Bro Fro with 756 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right into it. So we're going to have Kirito win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, so he's going to get to the side, and he's going to choose to go second, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hand is Ash, Harpy's Feather Duster, Skullmeister, Shark Cannon and Hornet Drones. So it does have a starter, multiple hand traps. Not bad. And then he has Delta, Ritual Spell, Emergency, called by Herald of Perfection. So it's probably on the Megalith build since he's playing Herald of Perfection. And they play this just because it's a level 6, so they can like go into Beatrice with it. Uh, it's really only like one hand trap because it's called by two. It's going to act the Emergency. It's going to add Alpha from Deck to Hand, and then Alpha Effect, Tribute Delta, Chain Ash, and then Chain Called By. Right there, like a bell on that would have been nice. But Alpha brings itself out, add Ben 10, and then Delta bring itself out um, on the effect of Delta. He's going to chain Skullmeister, then Ben 10 Effect. It's going to add Eva off of that. And then activate the ritual spell, bring out Herald of Perfection, pass turn. So, and you could have like Ben 10, add Maju, Maju stuff, Union Carrier, ritual spell, Dawn Knight, Sen, and Dawn Herald. I, I don't think this is the way I would have done it, but it is. Three negates. Or two negates, sorry, not three. Draws gamma. Oh, the gamma draws insane because Hornet drones, response, chain herald, chain gamma. Oh my. GG's. Um, can't herald. Yeah, he probably just misclicked and trying to send it off board. It happens. Yeah, I misclicked. Happens to me all the time. So he gets to bring out two Eva effect at Orn. He could have chained, uh, so it could have been like Hornet chain link one, Herald chain link two, Gamma chain link three, Shark cannon chain link four, Banish Eva out of grave so that way he doesn't get the search. I think that would have been a, a great use of Shark cannon, like the perfect use of this card. Because then you can just like add it back later on. And then they don't get the search, and that could have been the petite. So yeah, that was a misplay. Make Hayate, battle phase, attack for a whole bunch. Sky Striker, applying the pressure. You gotta love to see it. Hayate, affect the send. He's gonna send multi-roll. Doesn't send Ray. Just wanted to note that. Make Kagari, Kagari effect, add back multi-roll. And then activate multi roll. It's going to send driver and then go in the shiz. So he wants the driver engrave. Shiz effect. That's going to add shark cannon. And then activate shark cannon. Banish alpha. Multi roll effect. Set the shark cannon. And then pass turn. Draw field spell. He's just going to admit defeat. Uh, Shark Cannon is so strong versus Drytron. Uh, Cycle Reader. Holy, people have been asking me, do you think that card's good? Do you think that card's good? That card is insane. It's a double DD Crow. And I think DD Crow is insane versus Drytron. So a double one is just even better. Uh, we're going to see Sky Striker go first this game. Opening hand is Gamma, Jamming Ways, Afterburners, Area Zero, Ash. Not very good. And then he has Orange Light, Gamma, Prep, Herald, and Nova. So, multiple, like, Gamma type effects on his side. Area 0, set Jamming, and then 0 effect. It's going to let him add Widow. Not looking too good. It's going to set Widow, pass play, draw Orange Light. Activate Prep. It's going to add Ben 10. And then Nova effect, he's going to chain Ash Blossom. Uh, 
See, this card says you cannot special summon monsters except monsters that cannot be normal summon or set the turn you activate this card. And he's trying to special summon out a driver here, which you happen to be able to normal summon or set. No, they don't catch it. That's what makes Gamma, like on your turn, not a thing in this deck. Or you would just have so many outs to drill. Like people would have to actually like use drill or drills like skillfully, or they would just get hit with Gamma for game. Wow, they just let that go through. Yeah, you definitely need to uh, know that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, not just the monsters have the restrictions. The Nova also does. Goes in the Link Karibo, Zeta Effect. They just don't know about any of the restrictions. They don't... Oh my. Some people thought that monsters that are level 5 or higher can't be normal summoned because you have to tribute summon for them. Uh, that's just not how it works. Like, this you can't normal summon. This you can't normal summon. Uh, this you can't because it states it. This... No reason why you can't. So, huge misplays from them. Them Ben Ten, the Add Eva, go for the Relinquished, and then make Union Carrier effect. He's gonna chain Widow Anchor on that. Battle phase, gonna start attacking. So, good amount of damage. Main phase two goes for the Herald. And then draw Mystic Mind. Afterburners, Chain Herald Effect. Is he just going to Mystic Mine for game? Add Orange Light, Mystic Mine. Um, yeah, it's only once per turn. Draws Lightning Storm. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, skip through a lot of these turns because there's just nothing happening, you know? No point. Uh, well, we'll look at the Desires Banished. Uh, nothing too interesting. Just Ghost Bell in there, too. Oh, he's going to use multi roll on Mystic Mine. Alright, so something's finally happening. And then Rota to add Rose. Couldn't he have Rota to add Rose before? So that way, like, Mystic Mine protects him. Normal Ray and then Rose effect. Bring itself out. And then Ray beat over. Rose attack directly. And then Ray to tag out. Chain Orange Light effect. Then main phase two, go for Kagari. Kagari effect to add back Widow Anchor. Very weird that he actually decided to hit Ray effect. I mean, why? Do you just not want to take 15 more? Do you not want Hayate to send? I think you just negate, like, Kagari. Um, I think that would have been a solid negate there. Goes in the Shiz. Set the Widow Anchor. Or honestly, just hold it. Like... Against slow decks like this, usually I just don't negate anything and just keep orange lights so that way I can't get hit with like cycle reader, uh, just hand traps in general. If I just protect myself from hand traps, I think my engine beats their engine. Now, uh, end phase shiz to add shark cannon and then activate it on Zeta, multi roll effect the set, pass turn, draw cyber emergency. It's going to activate Lightning Storm on the Spells and Traps. Change Shark Cannon to Banish Ben 10 from Grave. No Drytrons in Grave. Then activate Cyber Emergency. It's going to add Alpha. He's going to drop Draw on the resolution of that. Pass his turn. Draw Gamma. Turn Shiz into Kagari. Kagari Effect to add back Widow Anchor. And then battle phase attack. It's a pretty big Kagari. Starting to get big. I remember uh, when Sky Striker came out, I outed an Ultimate Falcon with Pure Striker just by having a huge Kagari. Set Widow, end phase, Shiz. That's going to let him add Widow Anchor. Pass turn, draws Gamma. I mean, good draws. Alpha effect, tribute, bring itself out, search for Ben 10. Well, actually not a good draw, because he already had access to it. Uh, he's going to Skullmeister the Ben 10 effect, or Skullmeister the Zeta effect, and then Ben 10 effect goes through. Activate Cyber Emergency to add Delta, 
I really like Delta. This card's really good, especially against slow decks, because you get to uh, resolve this a whole bunch. This one lets you do something every turn. Just get closer to your side deck cards. Reveal, draw Alpha, and then Ben 10 effect. It's going to let him add Natasha. The, the prime card of this deck. Goes for Nightmare Phoenix, smart with his own placement. If you put it up here and they out it, then Rose gets to come out. So you should just be summoning it down there. So good job, big bro fro. Uh, he's going to try to pop the Widow Anchor. He's going to chain the take. And then activate, add Nova, and then Nova to bring out Zeta. Activate Gamma effect, that's going to tribute the Zeta, bring itself out, and bring out Alpha from the graveyard. Activate Ritual spell, tribute the special summon, effect to gain life points, targeting Alpha. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So he's going to gain 600 life points here. Wow, they just didn't count in the shiz. It doesn't say original attack, it just says, yeah. Uh, that's why you can like use it on like Lord Effect, Gang Extra, use it on Access Code Talker. Uh, ritual Spell to add itself back. And then Link into Cerberus. Cerberus Effect, discard to pop Phoenix, Natasha, Steel. Why would you pop Phoenix? Natasha, Gang Life Points, Chain Gamma. Why? Like, I'm actually just blown away. Why? <laughs> like, like seriously, why would you get rid of your ritual spell to pop a monster that you thought you were going to take? It just makes no sense. I mean, I guess because like, he just had game, but then he went natasha effect digging life points he still has game though right just like natasha bring itself out steal um wow so kind of surprised that since like, he's playing gamma and stuff kind of figured that he might have been on like a needle fiber combo somewhere in there and he couldn't natasha steal gamma to try to go into that it's another, you definitely want to summon your Gamma turn one all the way to the right, for sure. You don't want this being stolen by a Jiho and then them going the Needle Fiber combo with your tuner. It's going to come up soon once it, be, once it starts being played again. Um, can't summon access code, needs effect monsters, yeah. Um, yeah, now he fixed his board. See, now I know what to go into. Um, go into like a unicorn and then go into access code, effect gang attack, and then effect pop the gamma. And now moving on to game three, we are going to see the Sky Striker player go first this game. Opening hand is Ghost Bell, Area Zero, Desires, Mystic Mind, Skullmeister, No Raya, and then he has Prep, Nova, Prep, Field Spell, Emergency. This is a uh, this is nice. He needs a uh, a way to beat a floodgate because he's about to draw one off desires. So then banish ten, draw up what I said. Like it, it's every time. The only way that Drytron ever loses to a deck like this is floodgates. Without it, it's like oh you got like two widow anchor, uh, two hand traps. L O T K, <laughs> easy O T K. Signing Universe still plays this. Shout out to uh, Karibo Overlord for playing this like a over a year ago now. Crazy. Um, nothing too interesting in the banish besides the sign up. Draws the mistake though. That's that's incredible versus Drytron. Area zero set widow effect. Any hits Ray off of that. Wow. Pretty lucky right there, but if you're the Sky Striker player, you gotta love to see it. Make Kagari effect, add back the Widow Anchor, and then go in the Shiz, set Widow and Mistake, end phase Shiz, that's gonna add multi roll. Multi roll, like, would help him get to a uh, Ray next turn if he needs it. Pass turn. 
And he draws the Harpy's Feather. Did I, I'm so good. Like, I haven't watched these replays beforehand. And, like, I called him drawing the Floodgate off Desires. I called him top decking this. Like, I said he needs to. But, I mean, then he, he did it. He uses prep first. Why? What? Like, that just makes no sense. Does he, uh, well, I guess because, like, if you prep, add Ben 10, and then they drop Droll, you just pass turn, and you don't want a Harpy's Feather Duster, so th never mind, this makes sense. Uh, so just the right order to do it in for sure. And he's going to chain Mistake. Yeah, I like the way he played that. Draw Rose. I was just getting too excited about the draw. You want to make sure not to do that in real life, too. Like, you can get super excited over something and then do it, and that's just not how you should do it. Um... I know it sounds kind of whack to say, but, like, when it comes to, like, competitive play, you should try to play without emotions. Uh, it's not super easy to do at first if you're a very emotional person, but, like, me, very, very simple. Uh, like, even if I play against, like, someone I know, like, I'll call judge versus them or anything. I'll just take it very seriously. Um, yeah, that's really all I got to say about that. But he's going to normal and then... Go into Hayate, battle phase, attack for 3,000. And then Hayate effect, that's going to dump shark cannon. And attack for 15. Area zero effect on Rose. Well, he can. Wow, are they not going to let that go through? Alright, so they just didn't even read area zero. They just assumed it's wording, but... So, this should resolve realistically, because it says target one other card you control, excavate the top three cards of your deck, and if you do, you can, can add one. Actually, this came up a lot, a while ago. Um, any, like, stri most striker players know that says you can, because you used to, like, area zero, target your card, and if you hit Ray... Sometimes you would just not add it, so that way you can still multi-roll, send area zero, bring out Ray from deck. Go in the Kagari effect, add back Shark Cannon. Also, like, if they hit you with Shared Ride, you can just, like, awkwardly play around it. And then go in the Zex, set Shark Cannon, draw Dawn. Why is he playing these bad cards? Uh, oh, man, it's not good. Like, you take the deck... And you just start, like, adding bad, like, oh, man. He's probably just taking hand traps and exchanging it with cards like these. And it's like, oh, man, these let me play through boards. No, just take them out, play the hand traps. You need to be with a beat combo. Uh, if you main deck multiple hand traps, then your side deck can have stuff for other matchups, too, which I think is very good. Harpy's Feather Duster to hit the back row. He set top deck. Nah. Held it. Yeah. So, I think I could have had, held one more turn since you made Zuck. Lol. Use the Cyber Emergency. It's going to add Alpha. And then Nova. Bring out Zeta. Alpha Effect. Tribute. Bring itself out. And then search for Ben 10. And he could have just, like, grabbed Ben 10 at the beginning, though. Made this a lot less risky. Zeta effect, chain Ghost Bell. And then Ben 10 effect, chain Skullmeister. Said Striker best deck, just discard hand traps. Weird enough, he just plays through. Add the Ritual spell. And then Prep, it's gonna add Herald. Um... And then activate, bring out Ben 10, Dawn, bring out Herald, gets the effects. Like I said, weird enough, he just like plays through it. So I, I dislike these cards so much. Especially when like they're good in a scenario like this, when they're just never good. Not good. But he's going to attack over it, and then Ray effect, Herald effect, and negate, pass turn, draws mistake, set mistake, activate multi-roll, 
That's rough, because, like, you have to negate multi-roll. And then Eva will give you a search. And, like, yeah, yeah, you definitely just negate multi-roll there, 100%. Like, we know the cards, but you negate multi-roll anyways. Why is he let it go through? Like, okay, worst case scenario, multi-roll, like, activate it. Chain Herald negate. Chain Widow Anchor steal. This goes through. Multi roll send herald like flip hornet drones like best case scenario yeah I definitely should have negated that so now he's gonna have to drone out draws orange light draw meister I'm just gonna skip through this again uh, these turns aren't very like fun no targets for terraforming by the way draws a lightning storm. No way to use it yet with all these cards face up. Like, he can't deck him out. He's only on eight cards. Alright, so he's going to afterburners on Harold. We'll just, like, peep the fields real quick in the hands so you guys can see him. Judgment set. It's pretty nice. Multiple hand traps. Pops the cyber emergency. Multi roll effect. Get rid of mine. Hornet drones. Bring out a token. Then go for Kagari. Kagari effect. It's going to add back Shark Cannon and then attack. It's weird because it's all stemmed from him just not negating multi roll. Um, he's going to activate Called By on Ben 10 and then Shark Cannon on Natasha. End phase, multi roll. It's going to set Shark Cannon. Pass turn, draw Gamma. It's going to get rid of Ben 10 for Alpha. Chain Ash Blossom on that. Chain Gamma in response to that. It's going to chain Shark Cannon. Wait. How, why do they keep using these Gammas when you just can't use them? Well, at least you guys know this now. Uh, don't cheat with your Drytron effects. Uh, man, it's coming up multiple times this match too. Like, you, you just, you, you can't, you can't. At least this is me trying to help you guys improve. Uh, while they may be misplaying and cheating, uh, may make the match a little less enjoyable to watch, obviously, because there's some cheats in it. But, like, I know you guys can't see it now, but, like, he's at 841 rating. Like, I'm pretty sure that's top 100 rated on DB right now. If not, it's, like, very close to it. And he does, he's missing these right now. Top 100 on DB. That's like top 100 on DB. I mean, there's not much more to say about it. Like, it can happen to anyone. As long as, if you don't like read the cards and know the interaction. So just make sure you know those. Zeta, bring itself out. Chain Skullmeister. Then he's going to go into a Nightmare Phoenix. Playing around Rose again. Gotta love to see it. Phoenix, going to pop chain widow on that he's gonna take it and he's gonna admit defeat wow what a game that uh yeah it's really all i gotta say like what a game that was did not expect the sky striker player to win that one after the opponent drew harpy's feather duster before the harpy's feather duster i was like oh this is over mistake is game uh floodgates are crazy floodgates is really the only way that like rogue decks Stand a chance against this deck. Uh, like he added one floodgate and then next turn just threw up the next. But Mystic Mind's a cool card. I wish this card was never printed though. But now that it's in the game, I don't think it's like too bad. I mean, it's not fun to play against like Mystic Mind Dodd deck, but it's also not too hard to beat them. Like that virtual world actually just shatters Mystic Mind. But let's see how long the match was. Holy, is 57 minutes long. Honestly, not bad for a not timed match with Sky Striker in it. Could have been like seven hours. Realistically, like the Sky Striker mirror went in the time, like most of the time in game one. Sky Striker mirror was crazy. But that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.